Hello, Leafs Nation. Lately, the excitement in the NHL has been intense, especially for Toronto Maple Leafs fans. With almost two months since the start of free agency, one name that keeps resurfacing is James Van Riemsdyk, a former player for the team and the second overall pick in the 2007 draft. The Maple Leafs' constant search for reinforcements for the upcoming season raises the question, could this be the perfect time for the forward's return? Recently, respected journalist Dave Feschik from TSN brought up this possibility, mentioning that the Maple Leafs are considering reuniting with Van Riemsdyk. During a discussion on the First Up show on August 26th, analyst Aaron Kornick and Feschik analyzed the available options, highlighting the importance of strengthening the team's left wing. The Maple Leafs really need more depth in that position, especially considering Nick Robertson's situation, who is still a restricted free agent, Festick observed. Van Riemsdyk's journey is an exciting one. He started his career with the Philadelphia Flyers, but it was during his time in Toronto that he truly shined. From 2012 to 2018, he played 412 games for the Maple Leafs, scoring 154 goals and becoming a fan favorite. After returning to the Flyers, he recently played for the Boston Bruins, where he had a decent season, scoring 11 goals and 27 assists in 2023-24. With what's being said by experts like Elliot Friedman from Sportsnet, the behind-the-scenes movement suggests that the team is genuinely focused on addressing the left-wing unit. Friedman wrote in his 32 Thoughts column that there's a growing sense that changes are about to happen. I think something is in the works. Toronto is exploring options, and Van Riemsdyk is definitely one of them, he said. Furthermore, according to Daily Faceoff, Van Riemsdyk was ranked as the best free agent still available, making his situation even more intriguing for the Maple Leafs. But what do you think about this? Should the Maple Leafs seriously consider the return of the player? Does he still have a lot to offer the team, or would it be better to invest in younger alternatives? These questions are lingering in the minds of fans and analysts, and your opinion is crucial. With the new season approaching, how would fans feel about seeing Van Riemsdyk back in the blue and white uniform? Behind the scenes of the NHL, the buzz continues around the Toronto Maple Leafs, who, according to general manager Brad Trailering, are open to new player trade opportunities. Recently, an intriguing proposal surfaced, suggesting that the Maple Leafs might be in talks to acquire young forward Capo Caco from the New York Rangers. This move could bring renewal to the team and open a new chapter for both Caco and the Leafs. The website Puckpedia has launched a tool called PuckGM, allowing fans to create and share their own trade proposals. One user made a suggestion that caught many by surprise. Sending Nick Robertson to the Rangers in exchange for Kako and an additional third-round pick in 2026. What do you think of this trade? Would it be a good strategy for Toronto? Kako was a promising prospect when he was selected as the second overall pick in the 2019 draft, but his journey in the NHL has been challenging. Although he has shown a lot of potential, he hasn't quite made the expected impact, and because of that, he has faced criticism and frustration especially during the last playoffs, where he was benched in several games. How do you feel about the expectations placed on young players? Is it fair to expect them to adapt quickly? On the other hand, Nick Robertson, who was selected in the second round of the 2020 draft, has also expressed his dissatisfaction with his role on the Maple Leafs. He is a restricted free agent and has made it clear to the team that he does not intend to renew his contract, requesting a trade. Last year, he played in 56 games, accumulating 27 points. Do you believe he is ready for a fresh start with another team? And how could this impact the Leafs' performance? The current situation with Kako and Robertson raises interesting questions about what the best options are for both players. Many fans and experts comment that a new environment could benefit both, allowing them to showcase their true potential. Kako has already signed a one-year extension with the Rangers, but his future remains uncertain, and he is still mentioned in trade talks. What are your thoughts on what could happen next? Chris Johnston, 
a respected NHL insider, mentioned that Robertson's desire to be traded hasn't changed, despite the challenges. What do you think the Maple Leafs plan for him? He also emphasized the team's need for young and promising players, especially in the attacking sector. Do you think the Leafs are exploring all options to maintain their competitiveness in the league? This potential trade is an example of how unpredictable the NHL can be, and changes can happen quickly. If Kako manages to adapt to the Maple Leafs environment and Robertson finds his place on another team, both could reap the rewards of their new opportunities. What does your intuition say about the future of these players? Would you like to see them in new colors? To conclude, the NHL's busy dynamics and the speculations surrounding the Toronto Maple Leafs raise intriguing questions about the team's and its players' future. The return of James Van Riemsdyk could be an excellent strategy to strengthen the left wing, especially at a time when the team is looking to revitalize. On the other hand, the situation of young talents like Nick Robertson and Capo Caco also deserves attention, as the future of both could be impacted by these decisions. We know that fans have valuable ideas and passionate opinions about what might work best for the Leafs this new season. So, we'd love to hear what you think. Leave your comment on the possibilities involving Van Riemsdyk and the proposed trades. And don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to stay updated on all the Leafs NHL news. Stay tuned to our channel.